everyone, I am the Dragon Skull, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. Wanda's just sleeping there by the by the shrine because that's where I saved last time. When we left off, we defeated um, Gaius, the um, the third Colossus. And although the actual fight with him wasn't too bad, it was getting to him that that I was struggling with. As you guys probably saw in the last episode, where I was struggling, I kept falling off that one platform. It was really annoying. Anyway, we're going to be fighting Phaedra now, the Trojan Horse Colossus, as I call, like to call him. Come on, Wanda, get up. It's time to it's, it's time to get moving. Hope you enjoyed your nap. You're going to need all the strength you can get as when it comes to fighting the next one. All right. Agro. Agro. Come on, Agro. Let me climb up on your ass. <laughs> all right. Hey, Phaedra is in that direction but before we go that way we're gonna go this way first because there is a shrine down there somewhere I saw a shrine something wait where is it I swear I just saw a shrine yeah. aggro yeah. where are you going come on move yeah. stubborn horse ah there's the shrine over there in the distance I'm gonna go there first I mean, I might come here eventually in the game, but I want to just go there anyway. Oh. Never mind, there's a big chasm. And I'll have to cross the bridge to get there. Alright, turn around, Agra. We'll get it another time. We will be crossing this bridge to get to other Colossi at some point, so... We'll come here another time. Let's just keep going this way. And let's see if we can find any shrines ins on this side of the, um, the lands. Okay, we're on the right track. It's down this way. Yeah. If I remember right, Phaedra is in like a hidden area where there are graves, and you have to use the the like underground tunnels to um to to get to him, because there's no other way to climb onto him. He's one of the um special um colossi because he's he's like a giant horse. I call him the him like Trojan's horse because like he, he looks like the Trojan's horse from Greek mythology. Well, not Greek mythology, like um the ancient Greece. Because it was a real thing that happened. That bridge is really cool. That's how far or uh, it goes. It stretches from here, the temple, to the exit of the Forbidden Lands. That's, that's the only way in and out of the Forbidden Lands. Alright, uh, this way. Alright, keep going, Agro. We'll go around this way. I think we're supposed to go the other way, but I don't mind going this way. Take a little detour. I still want to try and find some shrines so I can and strength so I can increase my grip meter. I'm gonna need as much grip as possible when dealing with the um. The, the other colossi. Whoa, aggro! Almost jumped over a rock. Oh, those, those are cool little particle effects in the wind back there. I thought those were like gold coins, but that's just like, um, dust particle effects. Like, the, like these ones there. Or maybe they're fireflies. Ah, here's a shrine! Finally! Alright. Hey, alright, get off aggro. These shrines have, um, not only can I save here, but I can also get, um, the salamanders around here. The, the silver-tailed salamanders only, um, um st stay around this area. Now I just need to find it. Shouldn't be too hard to spot. Just look for something that's moving with a, with a silver tail. Might be up top. Oh, wait. Oh, that's the shadow. Boy, I saw it for a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I think I see it. No, that's just a rock. It's quite, it's hard to find because they stick it, they blend in very well with um with the shrine. I might have to climb up it. It might be on the higher level of there. All right, let's climb. Come on. There we go. And hup. nope. That's not what you're supposed to do. Alright, climb this way instead. That's way better. 
Okay, up again. Nope. Nope. Up, up. Oh, wait, I hear him. I hear him. I hear little, little pitter-patters. So he's definitely up here. Somewhere. Alright, climb up again. I hear him. I heard, I heard him make a little squeak. Where's that Charmander? Oh, Salamander, not Charmander. <laughs> this isn't Pokemon. Ah, there he is. He was underneath there. Clever little critter. Alright, see if we can... Oh, he's coming. Oh. Ah, oh, could have gone in with my sword. Where is he now? I think he went... Un I think he's underneath me. I hear you. Show yourself. Aha, there you are. Okay, okay. Bow. Oh, I can't get an angle on this side. <laughs> These salamanders are tricky to catch, but if you do catch them, the rewards are, are good. Uh, just drop. Where is he? Is he on the other side of it? Where are you, you little uh, lizard? I hear him, but I can't see him. Where is he? Where is he? I really want to get him because I really, really want to increase my grip strength. I need as much of it as I can when it comes to dealing with the final Colossus. Because of course the last Colossus will be the hardest one to kill. He's also- ah there you are. Alright, stay right there. Do not move. Hey, what did I just say? I said don't move. Oh, I got him! Yes! Alright, he's on the ground. Got him. Alright, grab that tail. It doesn't look like much, but the more you grab, uh, the more you notice um, your grip meter increasing over time. And that shrine is now on the map now, so now I know if I've got it or not. Aggro! What are you doing all the way over there? <laughs> Aggro was so bored, um, she decided to just, just roam around. Alright, come on Aggro, back to the mission. And yeah, come on, yeah. faster. Okay, I think I need to tap triangle to make her run fast instead of holding triangle. I don't know why I kept holding triangle. It's because I'm used to doing that. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing over here, so let's just keep moving forward. Come on, aggro. Oh, Ooh, that's just a regular salamander. I'm not interested in the regular ones. Only the silver-tailed ones. So yeah, this next Colossus we're going to be fighting, um... Hey, we're back in this area again. Okay, hang on. I think we're in the wrong area. This is where we fight another Colossus later on. This is either the, um, Avion or, um, Hydrus's area. Yeah! Alright, Agro, we're going back. We, we, we went the wrong way. I thought this this place would circle round. No, it doesn't. Yeah, we went the wrong way. At least we got a shrine out of it. That's all that matters. I mean, we could have gotten it eventually because we do have to come back to this area at, at some point to fight um to fight either Avion or Hydrus. I don't know. I don't remember which one it was because they both they're both in um like lake areas. Yeah, Phaedra will be the last one we fight on the ground. After him, we're going to be fighting um, Avion, who um, is one of the, the flying colossi. Which is um, really cool, that there's one that can fly. Because uh, if at this point, you'd be thinking, oh, they're all pretty much... they're all, Fighting them is pretty much simple. We, uh, we just climb up them, stab the sigil, and then, then boom, they're dead. But then they start changing them around. Like the next one you fight is, is you can fl they fly, and then you're like, uh, how do I am I how am I supposed to get on to them? 
and then there's one that can swim underwater. You're like, how am I supposed to get a Colossus underwater? I need to. I won't be able to breathe for that long. There's also some Colossi that are actually very tiny as well. Like, not all the Colossus are um, giants. Like, they may be called Colossi, but that doesn't mean they're all giants. There are like two tiny ones. Like, they're the size of a bear. But because they're tiny, they because they're tiny it doesn't mean they're easier to take down. Because well, what they lack in height in 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 height they they make up for in speed. Because a small colossus can be very fast and agile, while the big colossi move slowly. When we and it, it can, they, they can also be a bit of a pain to deal with, but that's for future me to worry about when I actually fight the, the small colossi. Alright, we'll just keep going down this way. Hopefully we'll come round to the area where I have to fight hit, hit, um, Phaedra. I wonder if I can come across the area where the final colossus is Malus. Because, um, to get to him, you have to actually defeat the other 15 Colossi first. Because he's hidden in a, um, special area. But you can only unlock it with when you've, um, defeated the other co uh, Colossi. Alright, this way. Come on, Aggro. Aggro's such a great horse. I, I like Aggro. I think she's my favourite horse in the in in all the video games because uh, because she feels like a, a real horse I mean there might be other horse physics that are better than this one like Red Dead Redemption or something but I've never played Red Dead Redemption so I wouldn't really know no no no, no that's the wall that's a wall I grow we're not supposed to turn here yet I right, keep moving keep moving I really love this area. I like the dead patches of grass that, to make it look more realistic. It definitely looks like something's been here before as well because something's been walking, treading upon the grass. I don't know why, but I like seeing horses roaming free in, in, giant, in open environments. I think it's because of the, um, the, the spirit movie that I was telling you about in the previous episode. I really love that, uh, that movie. I remember I tried to get my friend Michael into it a while back, but he, but he just wouldn't watch it. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because he doesn't like horses or what, but... It's a good movie. And there's not... What, what, another thing I like about it... Oh, there's two salamanders. Eh, why not? Might as well grab them. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, there's one. Actually, forget it. No. Oh. Wait. Come here. Come here. Wait. Hey. Hey. Gotcha. Gives me increased grip, even though it's slightly. The silver tail one gives me a lot more grip strength, even though it doesn't f look like they they do. Come on, Agro. Let's get going. There's more salamanders in in the ground. What? It's a dead end. What? Where? How do I get to the um? How do I get to Phaedra then? Wait, wait, wait. Is that a path? No, that's just another dead end. Oh, there's another shrine over there. I may be getting lost, but and um, just a heads up. This is a game where um, you you can get lost in this game, even if you have the sword guiding you. But I don't mind, there's another shrine right here. Which means there's another silver tailed salamander to get. Let's pray first. So that way um we can um that way we have it on the map. Alright, well, hopefully if this one will won't be as hard to find as the last salamander. I'm gonna stay on the ground this time and just look around. Come on, show your little silver tail.
Okay, it's not, it's nowhere on the walls. I might need to climb up again. Oh, oh, there you are. There he is. Oh, 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 oh. Get it, get it, get it. Hey, come back here, you. Come back. Come on, stay still. Ah, hit the wall. Alright, quit moving. Alright, get the bow out. Now where the... Oh, there he is. There he is. Shh. Hey, hey, aggro! What's going into aggro all of a sudden? Aggro? What happened? Where'd you go? She just ran, she just ran off. Aggro! Come on, Agro. What was that just that? Why'd you run away? Let me worry then. <laughs> you almost messed up my line of, of fire. Yeah. Alright, let's head back to the temple and try and find our way over to where Phaedra is. I'm sorry for the delay. But I'm pretty sure the episode won't be over 30 minutes. I might cut out some me getting lost a lot if, if this continues. Just... Uh, let me get up the map. Okay, I am heading back to um, the temple area. That's that's good. As annoying as it is getting lost in this game, the only benefit of it is that you get to find the shrines. Like, I've already found two of them, and this is episode four. Not interested in the regular Salaman. Hey, look, there's another shrine up ahead. But I don't want this episode to just be hunting for shrines. I want to um, still kill one colossus per episode. But as long as we're here, let's let's go get it. Oh oh, there you are. Nope, not the sword, the bow. Gotcha. Agro's running off again. You're always doing that. But pray. There we go. That's kind of weird uh, that I have to be in a specific spot to properly pray. Alright, Agro, let's get moving again. Where are we going? The right. We're going the right way, okay. Come on. We need to get around this mountain. How many of you guys have actually played the original Shadow of the Colossus before this remake came out? I'm curious. Because I've never played the original Shadow of the Colossus, although I, I've only watched people... I've only watched people play, I've never actually played it myself. And I could never find a copy of it in shops. When I went to CEX and I picked up the copy of the remake, the remake was all they had. They didn't have the original. I kind of wanted to get the original as well, just so I could play both of them, so I could compare the two. But instead, I just watched Jack's Let's Play of the um of the old game instead. So that way I can um. Oh, is that it? That's. I think that's it. Nope, that's the sword. Where's the sword? Oh no, that's that's not where Phaedra is. I think that's where um, Malice is actually. But those are the gates I was telling you guys about earlier. It, yeah, that's it. Those are the those are Malice's gates. Let's go to them real quick because I'm curious what 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 happens if you try to open the doors even though you haven't defeated the other colossi yet. I am very curious about that. Come on, faster, aggro. Because I don't think anybody that I've watched um, has ever come to these gates and tried to open the doors without um, killing the other 15 colossi first. But I know I can't go to this area yet, but... Whoa, that was a big jump you did, I grow. Yeah, to open the doors you have to shine the sword's light on it. But you can't yet. Oh. I was... that's it? Oh, I was kind of hoping Dorman would, um, would be like, Before thy shall open these doors, 
Th I must um defeat the other colossi first. I was kind of hoping that would happen, but no, nothing happens. Bit of a disappointment. All right, enough wasting time. We're gonna go. Uh, uh, try we're gonna try and find um find Phaedra. Ah. Come on, Agro. This way. Yeah, according to the sword, we're supposed to go that way. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. But that's the yeah. way I just came, though. I feel like there might be a hidden path in the mountain that I, I'm the missing. Hey, there's the eagle again. I love how the eagle soars above us as we're um, traveling. Just like in spirit. Yeah. How many of you guys have actually watched Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron? And I'm curious to know that as well. <laughs> Alright, let's follow this path. Maybe it'll lead us to the um to the entrance. Alright, that's a wall, I grow don't run into the wall. Need to find an opening. I hope I'm not going back the way I came and there was a, there was another path this whole time and I just missed it. That would be annoying as hell. Oh, is that it? Hang on. I go. Nope, it's another dead end. Dang it. Excuse me for a moment while I try to find the the area I'm trying to go get to. Yes, alright. We found it, guys. We finally found um the area Phaedra's in. I'm sorry it took so long. I, I got so twisted and turned around. It was really annoying. But yeah, this is definitely the area Phaedra is in. I love this music I played as well. It has a very Mayan um, feel to it. Alright, come on. Oh, careful down this way. Like I said, you can get lost easily in this game, especially when you're playing it for the first time, like I am. But I did get some shrines out of it, so that's a good thing at least. I got three shrines. That's not bad. That definitely makes up for me not finding any in the previous episodes. I am disappointed though that when you go to Malice's gates, you don't. something doesn't happen. You actually have. you just can't open it yet. But yeah, here we are. Yeah, you see these tunnels? I need these are gonna be coming in handy when it, when it comes to fighting Phaedra. He's another one of my favourite Colossi because like I said before, he's like a giant horse. And he reminds Yeah, there he is, right there, that's him. He's asleep now, but once we approach him, he's gonna wake up. Like now. He's really cool looking. He's got like spider legs, and he's got like a rib cage as well. And those things on his dangling from his head. It looks like those are reins. Because he's like a giant horse. Yeah. Yeah. As I like to call him, the Trojan Horse Colossus. They should have named him Trojan instead of Phaedra. That would have yeah. been like a really good, um... A really good name for him. Alright, Agro, you're gonna need to get off now. Alright, for this part, I need to lure him onto this side of the tunnel, then I go in the tunnel and come out the other side. So that way when he's trying to get at me, he, um, he, he, and he bends down. Uh, you might want to move, Agro. This isn't really the place to be. I need to get his attention as well. Over here, you big horse! Alright, now in the tunnel. And get my sword out as well. Okay, he's right above me right now. That's him now trying to get at me. But he does what he doesn't know is that I'm on the other side now. Okay, is he bend down? Oh, not yet, not yet. As soon as he bends down, I need to um I need to climb up onto onto his onto his tailbone. Oh, why is he turning around? The thing with the Colossi is that some of them you can either defeat them really quick, or it takes a long time. 
if they don't, if things don't go your way. Like right now, he didn't do things mo things how I wanted it to. He didn't bend down like I like I wanted him to, which is annoying. Oh wait, he's turning back around again, so he might do it. Because what he's trying, he's supposed to do is he's supposed to try and bend down, peek into the hole where I just went in, trying to get at me. And then as soon as he's bent down, I I run out and climb onto his tail. He's really cool looking. Come on, is he gonna do it? Come on, where am I? Oh, yes, he's doing it. Okay, now's my chance. I need to hurry though before he gets back up again. Come on, don't don't get up, don't get up, don't get up, don't get up, don't get up. Come on, crap. Yes. Alright, and I'm on. Alright, I'm on his back now. Now to deal with him. Look at all that fur he has. Oh, the music's kicking up now. Oh, grab on, he's gonna shake. He's gonna shake. Whoa. Alright, now I need to hit that little bl red spot so I can get him to lower his neck. Don't really need to do much damage though, I just need him to lower his, his neck so I can get on top of his head where the sigil is. Alright, now's my chance. Oh, where am I? Okay, I'm on the head now, I'm on the head. Now, now to stab him. Oh, big damage. Whoa, whoa, he's shaking, he's always shaking. Alright, one more, and he's dead. Yeah. This is actually a lot easier. Maybe I should change the difficulty. I'd have to start a new game to do that though. Oh, down he, down he goes. Oh, and the lights in his eyes go out when you kill them. That's sad. That is really sad. But awesome. Oh, the tentacles are going, Aggro! 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 Catch me! <laughs> Oh, you, you didn't you didn't catch me in time. Oh well, back to the temple I go. I feel bad for poor Agro that I get teleported back to the temple and then sh and she has to just run all the way back. Though it does show how lo that she's a very loyal horse to um to wander. That's why I love her so much. She's so loyal. I mean. Although, I do feel like she has her doubts about um, what Wanda's doing, killing all the Colossi. Alright, we've taken down Trojan, the Trojan Horse. Next up is the Big Bird. The next one I'm, I'm actually excited to fight. Aww, Agro. He's checking up on Mona. Don't worry, Agro. We'll bring her back. Hopefully. Also, Agro is, isn't me or is Agro a really big horse? Either that or Wanda's just tiny. My next foe is. It casts a colossal shadow across the misty lake. As it soars through the sky, to reach, to reach it is no easy task. No, it won't. This is it. This next one is Avion, he, the the flying colossus. That one I'm looking forward to. He's another one of my favorites. Because, well, never have you ever, did you ever think that there would be a Colossus that could fly? Oh, hang on, let me go into photo mode for a second. I want to check something. i get a close-up on Wanda's face. Uh, it's actually hard to do it in this light. Let me go into, a, into the sunlit area. There we go. That's really cool, the photo mode. Oh, it's not happening yet. Uh, uh, with every Colossus you feed, with defeat, not feet, what am I saying? With every Colossus you defeat in the game, you get Wanda goes through like some small changes, because um, you know those black tentacles that keep getting absorbed into him every time he kills a Colossus, they do changes to his body over time. I mean, he looks fine now, but as I the more Colossi I kill, the more changes. He, I mean, his neck kind of looks 
darker, but that's probably j that's probably the shadow, like the lighting effect. So it's probably nothing. And that's why I wanted to check in the previous episode, but I didn't want to check right away because, well, there's no way you would notice it. It's still too early to, to notice any difference. But anyway, guys, I'm going to be ending this episode right here now. Alright, we're on to Colossus number 5, Avion. Or Avion, I don't know how it's pronounced. I think Avion sounds better. Uh, and I can't wait for the next one because it, this is the, this one we, is this is going to be the first flying Colossus we get to deal with. And, and and he's gonna, he's definitely going to be more of a challenge compared to the um the ones I've been fighting on the ground. I need to change my tactics when fighting him. This episode was definitely a lot better. I mean, than the last one. At least I didn't get four fail over and over again like I did with Gaius. Although I did get lost a couple times, but I did find three shrines and got um uh, increased grip out of it. So that, that that's um that makes up for it. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you all next time. Peace.